All right, coming back to you live. I like my chapstick because I don't like my lips to be ashy. All right, so back, back at this question. So one of the questions that we get a lot of is how much is plastic surgery? How much is your tummy tuck? How much is your nose job? Guys, when you have a great product, you don't ask how much it is. You want to see the product, you want to check it out first. One of the reasons why we cannot give prices over the phone, and I'm going to be very frank with you, okay, any great surgeon, any good surgeon who values your work and who are really good at what they are doing, they don't give prices over the phone. Reasons being, it depends on the amount of work that needs to be done. Of course, we can give you a ballpark value. It depends on the amount of work that needs to be done. Okay? We all kind we all come in different shapes and sizes. Okay? I might do a tummy tuck in somebody. I mean I've done it. The, 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 the shortest or the quickest tummy tuck I've ever done is 47 minutes. Okay? And I've done tummy tuck that took me six hours. So just imagine if I gave you a price of let's say fifteen thousand. Okay, and it took me 47 minutes. And if I gave you a prize of 15, it took me four hours. No savvy or no great surgeon would do that. Of course, you can also get tummy tucks for very cheap anywhere. You now, the analogy I always give people is you can get a one dollar burger. Okay, you can go to Burger King, 99 cents. We all got those burger. Or you can get, you know, the uh, the Winami <laughs> burger, which is 50 dollars. Okay, you would taste the difference. Don't let, let, let price be a deterrent, okay? And I've seen it, we've seen it, and these are horrible stories, and I hate to say it, I'm not even laughing anymore. Two years ago, I had a patient who, and I'm about to cry, who said that, you know what, I couldn't afford you. They went to Dominican Republic, and I'm not saying they don't do good work. I ended up getting a really bad complication. Came back, spent a lot of money in Atlanta, Georgia. So don't let price be a deterrent. The number one question that, you should ask is, are you a board certified surgeon? And not just a surgeon, a board certified plastic surgeon. Let me educate you about that, okay? Everybody can call themselves a plastic surgeon. And that's the sad news. We live in a country that we think we are protected, but we are not protected. Anybody with a medical license in good standing with the medical board can advertise. There are only a few states, and I think Texas is one of them, where when you say you're board certified, you have to elaborate, you have to disclose the field of your certification. California is not one of them, okay? I live here in Beverly Hills, in the one mile radius, there are over 300 people who call themselves plastic surgeon. And I can tell you, of all the 300, less than 25% are board certified plastic surgeon or properly trained in plastic surgery. So the number one question should not be how much is plastic surgery? The number one question, as a educated, you know, as a smart consumer is, are you board certified? And the number two question, the place that you are doing your surgery, is it certified, okay? And number three, the operation that you are about to do on me, do you have hospital privileges to do this operation in a hospital? If all the answers are yes, yes, and yes, go ahead and choose that surgery. If they cannot look in the eye and tell you I'm board certified, by the American Board of Plastic Surgery to do your liposuction, to do your nose, to do your tummy, to do your breast, run away. Okay? I hope I was able to shed light on this. Do not ask about price. And also, you know, just even <laughs> be a little more fun. You know, if you, even if you have the money, sometimes, you know, it's not all about money. Okay? I have three criteria for me to do surgery on anybody. And I hope you as a patient also have criteria. Okay? For me to take you on as a patient, you have to meet three criteria. I have to like you, and you have to like me. Okay, it's like a marriage, and you have to be able to afford me. So if all three are not clicking, okay, if you don't meet all three criteria, we don't have a deal. I don't do your surgery. Okay, you don't want anybody who doesn't like you to do your surgery. If you don't like a surgeon, please don't go there because it's cheap. Okay, so this is my this is my uh, uh, warning to you. Enjoy yourself. Have a wonderful day. We'll come back to you next week.